All right, welcome back. Now we're going to find the volumes of pyramids and cones. Once you take a look, a pyramid has a special relationship to a prism, right? Uh, you can see there's uh, similarities between them, and a cone likewise has similarities to them. Um, you should, what you should try sometime is make a, py a pyramid uh, that has the same base and the same height as the prism and see how many pyramids you can actually fit in there. Uh, if you do it, same with a cone, you should find out that it's the relationship is there's three pyramids of volume for every prism, and thus the formulas. So the formulas are pretty uh, standard here. It's going to be the same formula as a prism, but for a pyramid it's going to be one-third of the area of the base times the height. So if we look at this, we're going to do one-third. The area of this is... 10 times 10, all right, times the height. Oh, we have to find this height, don't we? So let's find the height using our Pythagorean theorem. That's 12, that's our height. And if this whole thing is 10, then this must be five. So 12 squared equals h squared plus five squared. Get that over here, 12 squared minus 5 squared equals h squared. h squared equals 129, no, 119. All right, take the square root, so our h is going to be the square root of 119. Now, that's obviously not going to be a perfect square. We'll round it, we'll round it though at the end, again, very important. So now, if you really smart, just put this whole thing in your calculator right away, okay? And if you wanted to, 10 times 10 is 100, so this is 100 radical 119 divided by 3. But it doesn't matter. I would just put this thing right into my calculator, and I would get, rounded the nearest tenth, 363.6 cubic meters, all right? So the same thing with the volume of a cone. It's one-third the cylinder pi r squared h so the volume of this is going to be one third pi times our radius squared times our height so this is one third pi three squared is nine times four one third of nine is three three times four is twelve pi centimeters cubed all right so let's look at that relationship a little bit more. A pyramid has um, a pyramid is one third the volume of a prism. Okay, so a pyramid has a volume of thirty units. So thirty units. What is the volume of a prism with the same base area and height? That means everything's the same. All I have to do is divide by one third or multiply by the reciprocal of three, multiply by the reciprocal of three, and a prism with the same base area and height would have an area of 90 units cubed. 90 units cubed, all right? Let's look down here. A cylinder has a volume of 30 units cubed. What's the volume of a cone with the same? So remember, a cylinder and a cone, what's the relationship? Well, one-third of a cylinder equals the cone, the volume of the cone. So one-third of 30 is going to give us the volume of the cone. One-third of 30 is 10 units cubed will be the volume of the cone. All right, it's kind of nice. It's a very cool relationship, one-third of each. All right, let's find the volume of these. So. Volume equals of a prism, one-third, big B times H. What is the base here? It's a triangle. So one-third times base times height, six times eight, times our height is 10. One-third times six is, oh, wait, what did we forget here? A triangle is one-half, right? Can't forget that. The area of a triangle is one-half base times height, all right? So one-third times one-half is one-sixth. One-sixth times six is one. So one times eight times ten is just 80 cubic yards. There we have it. Over here, we know that the volume is going to be one-third.
pi r squared h. So that's one third pi r. Is, if the diameter is 10, the radius is going to be 5. Oh, and we do not have the height. So we need that height. So this is 5. So let's see, 5 squared plus h squared equals 12.1 squared. h squared equals... 12.1 squared minus 5 squared h squared equals 121.4 so the square root of both sides so we're looking at 121.4 right here now again I would not find that uh, answering my calculator yet because that's going to be nasty all right but right now I can put all of this in my calculator one third times the pi button times five squared times the square root of 121 all right should give you 288.5 kilometers cubed all right likewise if you wanted to keep the pi you just multiply one third times five squared times that and you would have gotten about 91.8 pi. All right. All depends on what the directions are asking. A square pyramid has a volume of 32 meters cubed. So if I have a square pyramid, something like this. All right. The volume is one third the area of the base times the height. So the volume is 32. One third. What is the formula for the area of a square? Well, if it's a square, it's the side times the side, or side squared. The height is six. So one third of six is two s squareds. Divide both sides by two. S squared equals 16, and the square root of that is four. So the side would be about four meters. All right. How about this one? Volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared times h. We know the volume of the cone is 486 pi. Don't know the radius. Know the height is 18. One-third times 18 is 6, so I have 486 pi equals 6 pi r squared. Divide both sides by 6 pi. The pi's cancel, right? And 486 divided by 6 is 81 equals r squared. So the radius is 9. Did we answer the question? No, we want the diameter. So diameter is 2r, so the diameter would equal 18 inches. All right? Oh, Mr. Brust. Mr. Brust used to work at K-Town High School, and he loved wearing that dunce cap. I asked him why, and he said he stored Oreo cookies in it. So, an Oreo, let's consider it just a cylinder. So, here's our cylinder. Here's our Oreo cookie. Now, I know there's a little ridge there, but we'll just use our imagination. It was 0.5 centimeters tall. So, that's going to be 0.5 right and then over here what is a uh, our radius is one okay so what's the volume of this it's pi r squared h so pi times one squared times 0.5 well one squared is one times 0.5 is just 0.5 pi so that's the volume of the Oreo. That's one Oreo, all right? Now we want to know what about this dunce cap? So what's the volume of the dunce cap? Well, that's one-third pi r squared h. One-third pi, what's the radius? 10. The height is 24. So let's take a look. 10 squared is 100. 100 times 24 is 2,400. Divided by 3 is 800 pi. All right, so that's the volume of the cap. Now we want to know how many of these go into that. So that's division. So 800 pi 
divided by 0.5 pi. Pi's cancel out and we get 1600 Oreos. Man, he likes them Oreos. So pause the video, try these on your own. Good, welcome back. Let's take a look. First one over here, volume equals one third. The area of the base, it's a rec regular hex or a pentagon, so that's one half. Apothem times the perimeter times the height of the pyramid. So one third times one half is one sixth. The apothem is 5.5. The perimeter is eight times five sides, that's 40. And the height is 11. All right. Multiply all that together and you should get 403.3 centimeters cubed. Nice. All right, over here we have one third pi r squared h. One third pi r is the diameter is four, then the radius is two. H, ooh, I don't know my h, so I need to find it. So if this is two, this is our height. So height squared plus 2 squared equals 7.3 squared. So the height squared equals 7.3 squared minus 2 squared. The height squared equals 49.29. Take the square root. So we're using 49.29 here. The square root of 49.29. Now this is kind of nasty, so I think we should probably just multiply it all out, uh, you know, regardless of the pi. Let's just get a decimal approximation. So one third times 3.14 times 4 squared times that, and we should get 29.4 kilometers cubed. All right. So that's volume of uh, pyramids and cones. Best of luck on the mastery check. See you next time for the last section of Unit 10.